Hello, hello everyone, boys and girls. So today what we've done here is, it's, uh, what was it? Yeah, Uzbek purple mojito. So that's, uh, I'm gonna show you now how we've done this. I'm gonna need some lemon and mint, some pine tree leaves and uh, black mulberry, some grapes, some bramble, some ice, and uh, some more ice. Then we get our glass jar pour some sugar, few spoons of, few teaspoons of sugar, it depends of your taste. I love sugar, so I would like to pour more sugar and more sugar, yeah, just pour it, pour it more, yeah, that, that's fine. Then we come behind with some hot water, alright, so in order to make our sugar syrup, then uh, we need to stir it till it gets dissolved, yeah, stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir. Yeah. So we after we stir nicely, so we see clear sugar syrup. All right. So after we stir, yeah, it's done now. So next we come with our black mulberries. Pour black mulberry as much as you can, but uh, you make sure that you can muddle it afterwards all the berries inside. All right. Yeah, then when we come behind with our bramble, yeah, bramble is uh, some kind of dark, like blackberry. Um, it's, we have many, we have many of them in Uzbekistan. Anyway, next uh, we come with grapes, all right, so the, it's uh, seedless grapes, yeah, and the sweet seedless grapes, the black ones, all right. So next, after grapes, we need to go with some mint, mint leaves. Yep. Mint gives a freshness to the drink. The mojito without mint is not a mojito. Next, after the mint, we go with lemon, with fresh lemon juice. We cut it into two pieces. Yep, cut the sides. Then we got squeezer. Yep. So squeeze first half. Got some juice of it. Yep. Squeeze. Squeeze nicely. Then go with next half. So we got another half, squeeze, for some reason we got more juice in the second half. So after we squeeze the lemons, yep. then uh, we go with muddle. Uh, we're gonna muddle it, muddle it, muddle it and muddle it. After we muddle it well, so we'll get our freshly mixed berries juices, alright. Smashed berries, we keep it on the side now. Next we're gonna proceed with beautifying our keg. So pour to some grapes first with our black grapes. I really love black grapes because these ones, especially this type of black grapes, are they are seedless, so it's easy to eat. Then come behind with some ice, the bigger ones, yeah, bigger ice cubes. All right, so just pour it some of them. Then we come behind with some mulberries, the black mulberries, the black ones. I really love this type of black mulberries. Then we go with ice. Put some more ice, just put them all, put the all ice in, yeah, okay, so it will get uh, cold, it will stay cold longer, then we come behind with some mint leaves, mm -hmm. some more mint leaves, then our speciality is pine tree, pine tree leaves, no, we need to cut it into half, yeah, it's better, mm-hmm, then we pour our smashed berries on the top of our decoration. Mm -hmm. Pour it all. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So next we go with sparkling water. Chilled sparkling water, ladies and gentlemen. This is mojito. Mojito needs a sparkling water. Or you can put Sprite, as you like. Sprite is sweeter, so sparkling water is not sweet. So it depends on your taste. Alright, pour it all. So fill it up, yeah, top it up, make it full. And there you have it guys, can you see the color? Purple mojito, can, have you ever seen purple mojito? Look at this, look at this beauty. You can make this drink to your family, to your children, to your guests, to everyone, anyone can drink. This is non-alcoholic drink and it's beautiful drink. And I call it Uzbek Purple Mojito. 
Uzbek purple in shortcut. Alright, let's decorate our glasses with our freshly harvested different different kind of berries of Uzbekistan. Alright, so we decorate with the berries, then we go with some pine tree leaves. Okay, so that uh, makes it more beautiful. Put some leaves in another glass as well. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Then uh, pour it our drink. Mm -hmm. And it's ready. Please do not forget to subscribe. And see you in the next video.